Welcome to this video. It's part of the free course, how to create a platform like Shopify, using WordPress and WooCommerce. You'll create a beautiful homepage, a pricing page for your membership plans, and a custom login page. Your users will manage their stores from a beautiful customized dashboard, easily created without any programming needed. Follow the link in the description to take the course. With WP Ultimo, you can sell membership plans, packages, and services, which is really useful to monetize your WordPress multi-site platforms. We'll guide you through every step to create a membership plan, and if you want, you can create other plans by following the same steps. Before creating a new membership plan, you can enable the custom domains feature. This step is important if you're thinking about allowing your customers to use a custom domain on their sites created on your platform. Go to the WP Ultimo settings and enable the domain mapping feature. Now let's enable the custom domains feature. Finally, let's save the changes. After enabling the custom domains feature, go to products. We will create a new plan, so let's hit add product. Once there, enter the product name and description. Add the product slug. Select the product type, which in this case is plan. Select the role the customers will get when they purchase this plan. In up and down grades, you can select different levels between plans. You can group your products and add a level to each plan so the customers can upgrade or downgrade between related plans. In price variations, you can add discounted prices for longer subscription commitments. These variations must be different from the main price and duration, which we will add later in this video. If you're planning to collect taxes with this plan, you can make it taxable and select the tax category. Also, if you want to allow users to select a template site when adding a new site with this plan, you can select how the templates will be selected. For example, you can assign a specific template for this site. Also, you can allow users to select among available templates. In sites, you can set a specific number of sites that can be created with this plan. For example, we'll allow our users to create one site only. Now let's select the visits limit. For example, for this plan we will allow up to 25,000 visits. If the sites gets more than that, users will need to upgrade to a higher plan. You can also limit the users that can be created by user role. For example, we'll allow just one administrator, one author, one editor, and one contributor for this site. If you want, you can disable any user role and not allow administrators to create users with that user role. We'll leave unlimited subscribers and customers, and allow one shop manager. You can do the same with post types. For example, you can disable the posts, so users won't be able to create posts. You can disable any unnecessary post types for your platform's purposes. In disk space, you can limit the space for each site created with this plan. Just enable the disk space limit and enter the megabytes that will be allowed for each site. If users with this plan will be allowed to use custom domains for their sites, we need to enable the use of custom domains here. Now you can decide which WordPress themes will be allowed for the sites with this plan. Here you can select the themes visibility and behavior. Themes can be visible or hidden. Also, they can be available, unavailable, or you can force their activation on the sites with this plan. You can do something similar with the plugins. Your plugins can be visible or hidden. Also, then can be activated by default. You decide how you want each plugin to behave for each plan. If you want, you can reset all limitations applied to this plan. We won't reset them because we're okay with the limitations we've set up. In the legacy settings, we can feature this plan to highlight it on the pricing tables. Also, we can add extra features to be displayed on the pricing tables here. Now let's select the pricing type for this site. Contact us plans require you to add a contact button and a contact page where users will inquire the prices. If you select the free pricing type, you don't need to add a price. In this example, we'll select the paid option to set up some prices. The payment can be recurring if you enable this option. Here you need to enter the price and the duration. 
Now let's select how many billing cycles will build with this plan. If you want to create a cancel when you wish plan, leave this empty. You can offer a trial period before billing the customers. You can also add a setup fee, which is an initial payment that is different from the normal payments. Once we're done, let's save the product and our membership plan will be created. Here you can activate or deactivate this product for purchase. You can add a feature image if you want. And here you can remove the product. Now you can follow the same steps if you want to add a new membership plan to your multi-site platform. Remember to consult the written version of this lesson, where you'll find the necessary shortcodes and important links.